Hello everybody, welcome back to the Craps Playoff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the round one, uh, round one C. Let's see, A, B, C, yeah. Okay, round one C, which is God, the God strategy versus six, seven, eight, weight strategy. Six, seven, eight, weight. Okay, so this one's gonna be really, really tough to figure out. They're, so far, both playoffs have been really interesting. We've done one, uh, we've had two other play and they tied and they both advanced. So now we're gonna let God, the God strategy and six, seven, eight, wait, go against each other, okay? So this is round one, C, round one, C. So we'll go ahead and start it off with the six, seven, eight, wait strategy. And let's go ahead and get to work on that one, okay? Every strategy is going to start in the craps playoff competition for the battle for the best strategy. Everyone's going to start off with $1,600. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and random roll. Uh, here's our puck. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to... Um, we're going to be uh, we're going to be on a random roller, so we're just going to wait for the we're just going to start counting dice while they're rolling. So that's that's one roll. So what this strategy is looking to do is get uh, either five rolls in a row without a uh, a six, seven, or an eight, or one six, seven, eight out of seven rolls. So that's Okay, that's three rolls right now where there's no six, seven, or eight. Okay, now that's an eight, but it is it is an eight, so that's one out of one out of five, and that's another eight. Okay, so it starts over, but we haven't had a seven though. We have not had a seven, and there's a seven. Okay, so you starting all over. Okay, that's a 10. That's a four, so that's two in a row. So again, it's five in a row losses or one out of seven. Okay, that's a six, so one out of three. Okay, one out of four, that's an 11. One out of five, so we would need two more losses in a row to make our first wager. Okay, that's a 10. All right, so since you guys, you know, for entertainment purposes, I'm just going to come in, okay? All right, so we're going to be on a bubble craps machine, okay? So how it's going to work is we're going to go $5 each on the six and eight, okay? Uh, I'm going to get changed for ones here. So, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hop the six one and the four three on the sevens, okay? And that's your bet. And every time you miss, you're gonna go up. Okay, and that's a nine. Okay, that's a nine. So you're gonna lose this $2. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and put $2 again, but you're gonna go up to $10 now, okay? That will pay you 15, so you're okay at a dollar each. You'll, you'll only lose a little bit. And there's the seven, okay? So we could have went two each and it would have, you would have actually made a profit, okay? We were a little cheap, hoping we didn't hit a seven there, all right? If we would have went to 15, then we would have went up. So how it's gonna work is we're gonna lose $21. We lose 21 and we only get 15 back, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep 15 and give them the seven, okay? All right. Now, we didn't hit the six or eight, so we don't have to wait, okay? We don't have to wait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the $10 level, which is what we got picked off on, but we're gonna go up another nickel because we didn't hit the six or eight, okay? So now, um, now what's gonna happen is on our hops, they are now gonna become $5 each on our hops, okay? All right, so we are working the come out. So we're, we're on, 
We don't really need the point, guys. I'll just let you know verbally. Okay, we're on. Five, three, eight. Okay, this strategy is gonna be very hard to beat. It's gonna be very, very hard to beat. Okay, so this is gonna be $17 win. Okay, now because you hit the eight and the six, you, oh, and you lose this money over here, I'm sorry. You lost that 10. Okay, all right, so because you won, you gotta go back to counting. Okay, that's a five. Okay, that's one loss. That's a seven, that's two losses because we don't hop the six, the five, two. That's two losses. That's a five, that's three losses in a row. If you get five losses in a row, you come in. And that's five, three, eight. So that's one win, one win out of four. And that's a seven, so you would have won again, okay? So you gotta start your counting over. It's just the rules, guys, it's the rules. Okay, that's, a, that's an 11. Okay, that's one loss. If You can't play this without counting and doing it because that's the key to success with this strategy. Okay, that's two losses in a row. Three losses in a row. If you get two more, you automatically come in. Okay, that's four. One more loss, guys. And it's a snake eye, so we're coming in. That's five losses in a row with no, we haven't seen a six, seven, or eight in five straight rolls. If you would have hit one there, it would have went one in five. And then if you go one in seven, after seven rolls, or after eight rolls, and you only won one, you only seen one, six, seven, or eight, you come in, okay? So your start bet is gonna be really small on bubble craps. And then you're just gonna go a dollar each on a six, one, four, three. If it's not a, if it's not a six, seven, or eight, eight you you go up okay it's a four okay so you're going to lose this two dollars okay i'm going to give them change for five ones okay all right so now i'm going to go up to two dollars this time i'm not going to make the same mistake and these are going to go to ten dollars okay if you miss again they go to 15. okay it's a four two six okay you're going to win uh, you're going to win 12, but you're going to lose here. So that now you're down to 10, and now you're down to 8. So you get $8. Okay, there's your $8. You get to keep all this money. And now you're down, and you're counting dice again. Now, it, I know it seems like it's really, really small money and small money, small mon money. But guys, sometimes you go a long time without hitting a 6 and 8 or a 7 and then they start building up. And that's when you make your money. Or you just keep doing what you're doing and you keep grinding it. And the next thing you know, you're up 65, 70 bucks and you just cash out. Okay, that's a seven, but that counts as a loss because it's a five, two. We don't play the five, two. So that's two losses in a row. Okay, that's another five, two. So that's three losses in a row. You would have lost three times in a row with your hot bet. Okay, that's an eight. Okay, so that's one out of four. One out of five. If you go two more, you get to play. One out of six, that's a nine. And I'll just come in now uh, for entertainment purposes, okay? I mean, it ain't like we're betting a lot of money here. Okay, so you got your bets in. Here you go. It's a four one five, so that would have ended up uh, by me coming in early. It cost us two dollars. No big deal, okay? All right, so you're gonna go to four now, and then these guys go to ten, okay? Okay, and there's your six. There's your winner, okay? You're gonna get twelve. You're gonna make an eight dollar profit. You lose four, you win twelve. It's eight dollar profit, okay? The previous, the previous shooter, you lost two on the hops. So in reality, you're winning $6 profit every single time. Okay, it's not a lot of money, but it's very safe and effective. And like I told you, you will see it go up, and you will see the dollar amount increase where you start making like $18 or $24. Or you can even make $60. It just depends 
on how high you have to go. And when you start going real high, guys, you include your 5-2. You never include the 5-2 when you're low. Only when those that 6-8 gets really big. When the 6-8 gets really big, you include your 5-2. Okay, that's... I don't remember what the first one was, so we'll just call it one. Okay, that's two. That's two. And you're always off. Now, if you're on the bubble crafts machine... Um, if you're on the bubble crafts machine, it would be tough because I don't know how you would wait, you know, you would probably, yeah, I don't know how you would do it. I don't like when you're playing the live craps, you could do it easy because you don't, you're never, when they ask you to, to shoot the dice, you just pass the dice. You don't need to ever bet a don't or a pass and you just bet on random rollers and you got the three best numbers in the house, six, seven, and eight. Okay. See, there's the six. Okay, you just right now you're just watching. You say, okay, I'm starting my count over. Well, actually, you're one, you're one win out of four. That's so you keep counting that way too. Because if you get one out of se one out of seven, you come in, and there's your six. So you're in your mind. You're going, okay. You're just chilling. You're not. You're just having a cocktail, and you're counting dice now. Okay, that's a five. You're like, okay, that's one. Okay, that's two, that's a nine. Five, two, that's three. A lot of five twos, man. Two, one, that's four. One more loss in a row, you coming in. And that's a four. All right, so that's five losses in a row. Now you go ahead and come in. So you're just gonna go a dollar, Five and five on the bubble craps machine, or uh, if you're on a other table, you're gonna have to go bigger. You have to go uh, 12. Uh, if you have 12 and 12, that's 24. Uh, you could go um, two dollars each. You would have to go two dollars each. So you just have to go up if you're forced to. Okay, and there's a 617. Okay, so you're gonna get, watch this, you, you lose 10, you lose 11 but you get 15. Even when a seven comes out, you still made $3, okay? You made $3 there, okay? So I'll tell you what we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and make pretend we're playing it on a live table like this, and I'll do the minimum bets, let's say, on a uh, $15 table, okay? So we'll start doing that for now on now. Uh, that way we can start making some more money and it would be more realistic to you because I don't see how you could do it on bubble crops. How are you going to like pause the machine to do your counting? Okay, that's a five. The only way you could do it maybe is, uh, here's what I would do. Okay, here, here, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. I want to play this on the bubble crops machine. I want to play it on the bubble crops machine. Okay, so let's do this. On the bubble crops machine, you have to have a minimum of $10 bet, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to lay the, the 10 for $10, okay? And we're going to play it on the bubble craps machine. And now we can count all we want because we have $10 invested, okay? And then we hit a 10. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's going to affect us at all, to be quite honest with you, on our results, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put 20 here on that. But guys, don't keep going up on your on your 10 don't don't do that because you'll change the whole strategy and you're you're risking too much money okay that's an eight that's one roll because you are going to get back some of the money when a seven comes okay and that's an eight so back to back eights so that's two wins in a row and there's a four three that counts as a win so you're going to get your ten dollars back here guys okay there's your ten dollars back that you lost Okay, so go ahead and just put $10 back so you can keep playing and counting. Okay, that's another eight. Okay, here we go. That's an 11, that's one loss. That's two losses in a row. Okay, you're saving hot bets every single time you wait, guys. Okay, that's three losses in a row. And if a seven comes, you're going to win $5. 
and there's a seven, and it's a five two, so it counts as four losses in a row. And you get five dollars over here on the ten. So I think that the sevens will pay for that just for so you can keep playing. So if you miss this one, you're gonna come in and you hit a five. Okay, so you're gonna come in now and you're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, if you were on a real table, you would have to go, if it was $15, you'd have to go 18, 18, okay? And then you would only have to do a couple dollars here. As long as this pays for these two, that's all that matters, okay? But since we're on a bubble craps machine, we're gonna just go with our five and five and our one and one. I just don't think that machine can beat you with this strategy because you're not playing the six, eight every roll. You're allowing the bubble craps machine to roll seven, eight, nine times before it spits out a six, eight, or a seven. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, and there's an eight on the very first one. Okay, so you, your, your 10 protector is completely fine, right? Uh, you lose the two here, you win six, you lose a dollar, so you make a $5 profit, all right? And then you go right back to counting your six, eight, okay? Now to be perfectly fair, this strategy is not gonna win a lot of money with these type of stakes, all right? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and purposely increase it because we, we do wanna try to make some money um, to compete. <laughs> you know, that was an eight. Uh, because a lot of you guys out there are going to probably try to base this on how much each strategy made. And I don't look at it that way. I don't look at it that way. I, I, I don't care if a strategy makes $5, $3 every roll. What I care about is which st strategy is going to give me the highest percentage chance of winning every single time, every single time I play. Okay, that's two losses in a row. If this strategy can grind you $100 every single time you play it, then you need to focus on this strategy. Okay, that's three losses in a row. That's four losses in a row. We hit three fives in a row. One more loss here, and that's a 617. So that counts as a win, but you, but you get $5 while you're waiting. I actually really like the 10, the 10 lay, guys. I think it's an excellent, excellent way that you can count your rolls. You don't have to make any bets. You just do the $10 lay. You don't have to do any bets on the bubble craps. You just keep going and going and counting your sixes and eights and sevens. And then you, right now you've only won one out of like five. Okay. And you still made money. You made $5. Okay. And there's a 10. Okay. So you're going to win five and you're going to lose 10. Okay. But that's okay. Okay, so actually what you do, just go to 15. I don't really want you bump. I will only go up one unit at a time on that, okay? All right, so uh, one more loss and we're coming in. And it's a six. Okay, it's a six. So we'll do a couple more rolls here. Let's get at least three losses in a row, okay? Let's get at least three in a row. Okay, there's a five, two, seven. See, we would have got screwed, guys. Well, the 10 would have bailed us out actually now. So it's kind of, look at, look at all these five twos, guys. Look at all these five twos. That's crazy. We're definitely coming in now. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to purposely come in at $15. We don't have to cop cap it because we're on the bubble craps. Okay, so you have $30 here, right? Well, that's going to pay you seven and a half, okay? So you have $30. So if you, if you bet... Okay, that's, um, this is going to pay you 30. You have 6-1 for 2 and 4-3 for 2 on the hops. That'll pay you 30, okay? You don't have to worry about your 10. It's a lay. It's not a bet. Okay, here we go. 6-1-7, okay? So you actually make a profit there, guys. Even when you fail, you make a profit. Check that out, okay? So you got, um, you're going to have $30, so you get to keep this money. You lose this $2, but you get $7.50 over there. So you actually make a $5 profit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna redo it as it never happened, 
Okay, we're going to redo it as it never happened, but we're going to come down the five dollars on the 10. Okay, the 10 is just normally for us. We don't even need it now, to be honest with you, because we're you don't need it when you're playing your six, eight. You don't need it. We're, we're, we're working because we haven't seen a six or eight. So only do the, the no 10 when you don't have any bets because the bubble craps won't let you play without it. That way you can keep going and counting and counting and counting and counting. And then when you're ready, you put your 6-8 and you remove your no 10. Okay, that's a 3-1-4. Okay, so you're going to lose $4. So you notice you're losing more money now here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give them a nickel and take a dollar. That pays for these. And now we're going to just go up $5. We don't need to go up more than $5 because we only lost 4 if we would have lost 10, we would have to go up 10 here. Okay? So we're just going to repeat that. All right? Now, we have to go up another dollar because now this pays 45 because we have 40 out there. Okay? Here we go. Okay, that's a snake eyes. Okay, so we're going to lose $6. We're going to pay them out of pocket. Okay? So what we're going to do, because we lost 6, we're going to actually go up 10 right here okay and we're going to keep uh that's 50 all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the five dollars each on the six one four three okay now we have been seeing a lot of five twos but this is not enough money to worry about the five two right now okay that's a three two when i saw that two i said oh boy here comes that five two okay so we're going to lose this 10 we're going to just replace that and we're going to go up because we lost 10. We're going up $10 each. We got to be able to get those hops back when we hit the 6-8. And there's the 8. Okay? I don't, guys, I don't think you can beat this strategy. I don't, I, I don't, I just don't see how it would be possible to, to beat this strategy. If you have a big bankroll, I mean, maybe if the bubble craps machine cheats or something like that, but you could always play this on the live table. Okay, you got 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, you are going to lose this 10. Okay, so you got 40. Uh, 40 times 17% on a bubble crabs plus 40. Okay, you're going to get $46. Okay, we're going to take 50. Um, and we'll give them 4. Okay? All right, so now you come completely down. You don't have any more bets anymore, okay? And then all you got to do is start the bubble craps machine is put $10 on that no 10. It's that simple, okay? You're not going to win a lot of money, but you're going to win a lot. Okay, that's a five. Bubble craps machine's working because we, we have a $10 investment in it. Okay, that's two. That's another 527. Woo, we may have to switch to the 527 guys on the hop. Because that thing is just roaring. All right, so that's two in a row losses. And there's an eight. So you've won one out of three. Oh, oh, we get paid $5, guys. We hit the 527. Remember? So our $10, our $10 lay is really gold right now for, for this strategy. I really like it. Okay, that's a five. Okay, so that's one win out of like five, four. Okay, that's a four. That's one win out of five. You got to have two more losses in a row. And you can't do it. You hit the eight. That just shows you how powerful this strategy is, okay? But don't worry. You're just chilling. There's a nine. If you hit the ten, it's no big deal. You, you'll overcome it every time. There's an eight. So the only thing I don't, you know, with this strategy, I don't really like filming this strategy because it's not entertaining that much for you. It's more just saying, hey, guys, look at this cool strategy. Like, look how much you're going to win with this strategy. You know what I mean? So, and to be fair to it, it belongs in the playoffs, guys. You know, like I said, it, it may not be the biggest winner, but it might be one of the most consistent ways to win. And this can really, really help out a lot of your guys' bankrolls, guys. So, and there's a 617. You're going to get another $5 for waiting. You're getting paid right now to count dice. 
That's all you're doing is counting dice and taking money. So all the money that you're going to get is going to pay for the times that the 10 does show up. You go back to counting. That's one. Okay, that's a four, two, six. That's one win out of two. That's a, that's a nine. That's one win out of three. Now, I know a lot of you guys just say, well, I'm just going to keep playing a six because, you know, you keep winning. There's a seven. You get $5 again. Why would you force yourself to play? You keep just taking $5 every, every, three, every uh, two minutes. You keep getting $5 every two minutes. Why? What's your rush? What's your rush? I know a lot of you think, oh, well, I'm just going to play. He keeps rolling sixes and eights. I would be winning every single time. Okay, but what you don't understand is you're not experienced because I've been playing this strategy before where it'll go crazy, crazy, crazy 25 rolls without a six, eight, or seven. Very rare, but it can happen technically, but it's very rare. It's another 11. Okay, we're going to come in, guys. We're going to come in, okay? We're going to go 15. 15 we're coming down on our 10 and when you want to hit the 10 is when you're on the 6 8 you don't want to hit it when you got your money out there okay so let's figure out what we got to invest here all we need is two dollars each that's it on the six one four three hop and that's a four three seven okay so you're going to lose two dollars you're going to lose $2 there. You're just going to replace your $2. And we're purposely going to go up a nickel each to get that $2 back. Okay? All right, guys. Here we go. Actually, we got to go. Now we got to go a dollar, dollar, dollar. So that's $3 now on the 6143. Okay? And that's a 516. I don't see how this strategy would, would, would lose, man, for, for a small ball like this, guys. Boy, do I got some good strategies, guys. I'm telling you what. All right, you're going to lose six here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and give this to the house. We're going to cash out, guys. All right? Um, this is 20, so you're going to get um, 24. So you only lost $2. So you, you, you won 20. Uh, you, won, or you won 24 and lost six. Okay, so you won uh, $18.00. On that $18 plus you won all the times on the no 10 I really like the no 10 for the bubble craps play okay so we'll, we'll cash out I know like I said I know we don't we're not gonna win a lot with this uh, little tiny betting but it doesn't take away that this strategy is unbelievable okay that's 25 okay that's 50 75 okay there's a hundred okay I mean, we 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 started this with sixteen hundred. We didn't even know. You know, if you play this on bubble craps, you don't even need to have a lot of money. You could play this on bubble craps, guys, for two hundred dollars. You could build a. This is the perfect strategy for all you low rollers out there who have like two hundred bucks and you're desperate to build a bankroll. Woo! You're gonna appreciate this one. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we got to have a thousand now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's a thousand. Okay, so this is our sixteen hundred. So guys, we made fifty, sixty, sixty-five. We made seventy dollars, and we played thirty minutes. You made seventy dollars. Okay. Our biggest bet was $15 on the 6 and 8. That was our biggest bet. Most of the time, our bets were $5, $5. And then $10, $10. And then the max we did was $15 and $15. Okay? The winning ratio for us was probably 90%. 80%. Unbelievable strategy, guys. I like that one a lot. Okay, that was playoffs, craps playoffs, top eight strategies, round one C. Round one D will be God. The God strategy will be up next.
going against the six, seven, eight. Ooh, I don't even know how you would even begin to try to eliminate God. Ooh, I don't know if I have the ability to do that. I might make you guys vote. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet.